underwater world is full of mysteries and surprises. There are billions of species living in the water. Underwater creatures are many times in number as compared to Earth creatures. There are very beautiful and rare species which appeals to everyone. But today we are going to learn about flashlight fish or lantern fish. Flashlight fish live in the Indo-Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea, this species is found in the Pacific Ocean, from Indonesia and the Philippines to Tuamoto Islands, south to the Great Barrier Reef and north to southern Japan. They are typically found in caves or dark overhangs along steep drop-offs in or near coral reefs. How flashlight fish was discovered? Once a group of divers found some schooling fish under deep sea near bottom. They were recording the video. But as soon as the turned off the light of camera, fish started glowing near eyes. Flashlight fish have a fusiform black body with blue edging on the dorsal and caudal fins. Conspicuous bean-shaped light organs below each eye are inhabited by symbiotic bioluminescent bacteria. These bacteria grow in tubular structures within the light organs. Light emitted by the bacteria may be blue, white, or yellow. The light emitted by the bacteria is enhanced by a reflector on the back of the light organ. The fish can rotate the light organs to flicker on and off to detect prey in the dark. These fish grow to 4 to 12 inches or 10 to 30 centimeters average length. The maximum recorded length is 14 inches. Flashlight fish are nocturnal and live in schools. They hide in caves or dark overhangs during the day to avoid sunlight. This fish uses its flashing light patterns while swimming a zigzag pattern to evade and confuse predators. They can also confuse predators by rotating their light organs to turn them off. This species has not been evaluated by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. It faces threats from climate change and ocean pollution. The flashlight fish is likely naturally rare. It is not eaten by people but is occasionally captured for use in public and private aquaria. As an inhabitant of vulnerable Pacific coral reefs, this species' fate is tied to that of its preferred ecosystem. Destructive fishing, climate change, ocean acidification, pollution, and other problems threaten coral reefs around the world and risk the fishes and invertebrates that rely on them. 